There's a lot more than just robots at the museum, so let's have a look. Good old cars. And definitely old cars at least, I'm not sure if they're good. Look at this, the springs in that saddle, bloody hell. I can imagine it hurts quite a bit going on this one. And the award for the most phallic item in the entire museum goes to... And here's an exhibit about clothes and look at this, it's made of paper. Looks a bit like something out of a cosplay, doesn't it? Due to the bloody coronavirus, there's a lot fewer people here than normal. But, uh, well, I can't complain. Alright, here we have some optical illusions. I have no idea if this will work when I'm filming them, but uh, let's try it out. Okay, I'm curious what this one does. Let's give it a shot. Um, nothing happened. Just that one. I'm disappointed. Ooh, let's check out the Dizzy Bridge. I'm not sure if this is gonna capture well on film, but uh, it's supposed to make you dizzy. Oh, that was it. Uh, <laughs> I don't feel dizzy. Wanna see me do some math games? Let's take the easy one. Um, what the hell is this? Oh, I see. Go me! So apparently you can mold in clay here. I have no idea what I'm doing. Ah! It's vibrating and doing stuff. What is this? What am I doing? I have no idea. It's a Leopluridon, Charlie. A magical Leopluridon. They are trying to make a supernova. It seems to be hotter than it looks. Oh look, they're succeeding. Bloody hell. Supernova achieved. You have to use brain activity to make a ball move. I have a feeling I would not be able to move it at all. Oh, this is only for kids up to 12 years old. Age discrimination. So there's an exhibition part about games here. And uh, well, there's a lot to see. So many old video game consoles and a PS2. It doesn't feel as old, but I guess it is pretty old by now. Lots of old video game controllers. I used to like the NES one when I was a wee kiddo, but it's pretty awful from an ergonomic point of view. Do you remember when Rock Band and Guitar Hero and all of that was a big thing? It really died out after a couple of years, didn't it? Commodore 64, my first computer. I sucked at Last Ninja, I sucked at Rambo, but I was pretty okay at Barbarian. This room is supposed to show what a studio looks like, but it's quite unrealistic. Look at the time, half past four, and people are gone. It doesn't work like that. Oh, look at this, they have a gallery of cosplayers. This is awesome. Someday, maybe someday, I'll be joining them. But first I need to learn to sew, and I need to come up with good costumes. And yeah, it's a bit of a hurdle, isn't it? Ah, oh, you don't get to try this. I'm so disappointed. What does it feel like to be inside a game? Let's try it out. Is this how it looks like in a game? I don't think I want to be a Link. But the music is pretty awesome. This museum is so much fun. So if you're in Stockholm, give it a go. And if you have kids, bring them along. They're gonna have a great time. But if you don't have kids, you're still gonna have an awesome time. So get your butt over here. Uh, well, that's all for now. Have a great day, like and subscribe, and have a nice day.